In this exercise, we would like to set up, and only set up, the line integral, which looks like x squared y ds over the curve c, where c is the part of the parabola y equals x squared from the point 1, 1 to the point 3, 9. So this is a scalar line integral. What we need to do is parametrize the curve c, rewrite our integrand in terms of the coordinates of the parametrization, multiply by the speed of the parametrization, and then at that point, we'll have everything we need to set up. So let's do that step by step. The first thing I want is the parametrization for the curve. If y equals x squared, then I can think of x like an independent variable. If I know x, then I know y. So let's just make a letter change to stick with convention. So let me take x and just call it t. And then if x is t and y is x squared, y is t squared. So t comma t squared is a way of parametrizing the parabola y equals x squared. If we're going from the point 1, 1 to the point 3, 9, that's like having x go from 1 to 3, but then I just switch letters to call it t, so t is going to go from 1 to 3. Okay, plugging that into the integrand, we need to square the first coordinate and multiply it by the second coordinate. So if I think of this integrand as the function f, Evaluating f along the curve is going to give us t squared times t squared, which is t to the fourth. Next, I need the speed of the parametrization, so that's the length of the velocity vector. Or in other words, it's the length of the vector 1, 2t. So that's the square root of 1 plus 4t squared. Now we have everything we need to set up this integral into a form which could be immediately computed. So we started with this kind of conceptual presentation where we're looking at the scalar line integral of f of x and y equals x squared y over this curve. To compute that, we would pass to our parametrization, integrate from 1 to 3, f of r of t, so that's t to the fourth, times the speed, 1 plus 4t squared dt. Now, that's not something that's easy to anti-differentiate by hand, but were this a nice integrand, we could then just anti-differentiate with respect to t, plug in our bounds, and that would be our computational way of evaluating the scalar line integral.